Hey guys, this is Canon with MakeUseOf.com, and today I'm reviewing a laptop which swept Consumer Electronics Show in January of this year, the Dell XPS 13 2015 edition. So did the laptop measure up to my expectations? Let's find out. The Dell XPS 13 comes packed in a relatively unremarkable black box. Included inside are an extremely small power adapter, some manuals, and the laptop itself. The design and build quality of the XPS 13 offer a step above what you would expect from a mid-range or even a high-end Ultrabook. It features an aluminum top and bottom deck. Sandwiched between the metal is a combination of carbon fiber palm rest and a small amount of black plastic. The carbon fiber palm rest received a matte rubber coating which is extremely pleasant on the wrists. The build quality is slightly better than a ThinkPad or ZenBook. There's a great deal of attention to detail. Sharp corners are rounded down, and the laptop itself has the sort of texture and fill you might expect from a high-end Ultrabook. The Indium Gallium Zinc Oxide, or IGZO for short, 1900 by 1080 screen is surrounded by 5 millimeters of black plastic bezel. Dell refers to the reduced bezel thickness as an infinity display. The slim bezel manages to cram a 13.3 inch screen into a form factor that hovers between the size of a laptop and a netbook. Dell seemingly redistributed the bezel that would normally be found along the sides of the screen to the bottom, where it also located the webcam. I should note that IGZO screens offer less than half the drain of a standard IPS screen at the same resolution. The non-touchscreen model includes a matte screen by default. The lightweight, long battery life, and extremely high build quality allow the XPS to excel as an ultra-portable productivity machine for professionals on the go or for students. Overall, it's just a meat and potatoes laptop. The XPS isn't for everyone. Hardcore gamers or video editors would want a laptop with a discrete graphics card. However, for standard computing tasks, the XPS excels in several key areas. Its keyboard, its IGZO screen, and its build quality. The touchscreen model includes Gorilla Glass NVT, which is essentially the fifth iteration for an scratch-resistant screen tech. The XPS 13's internals include the latest Broadwell ultra-low voltage processor. It also features a two-stream 802.11ac Bluetooth 4.0 module. Overall, the hardware specs packed in the Core i3 model offer the kind of value unseen in the Ultrabook market in the sub-$1,000 range. As a reviewer, I'm surprised at the value offered by the XPS 13 because it's several hundred dollars cheaper than its competitors and offers better internals in virtually all matchups to other Ultrabooks in the same price range. There is no flex or give on any part of its surface, nothing rattles or shakes with typing, and every inch of the device fills with a great deal of design effort were invested into it. Despite its many virtues, not everything is perfect with the XPS. The Dell in my possession suffered from a small number of relatively trivial shortcomings. First, Dell included a small amount of bloatware. While most of Dell's software is surprisingly useful, the Cathy antivirus is not. Second, the webcam's positioning is unusual since it shoots video from the lower left side of the screen. Placement might have been improved by moving it to the lower middle section of the, of the bezel, but overall I didn't find myself caring much about the positioning. Third, while XPS does have dual microphones for improving audio quality during Skype or Hangouts calls, the call quality leaves a little bit to be desired. So should you buy the Dell XPS 13 2015 edition? For those not requiring a beefy graphics processor or a convertible hybrid laptop tablet, the Dell XPS 13 breaks in the new territory by offering cutting edge specs, outstanding power efficiency, and amazing build quality for the price of a lower tier Ultrabook. And that's it for this review. For a full-length review and a chance to win your very own Dell XPS 2015 edition, please visit MakeUseOf.com.